Welcome, thank you for joining us at Nitro Security for today's webcast, Best Practices in Control System Security. This is the first of a two-part webcast series on NERC SIP that we'll be holding this week. My name is Eric Knapp. I'm the VP of Product Marketing at Nitro Security and also the Director of Critical Infrastructure Markets. And joining me, we have Mohan Ramanathan, who's our Solution Architect for Critical Infrastructure. Hi, Eric. Thanks for having me on. Thank you for joining us, Mo. Now, I'm going to focus on security in this webcast, um, specifically on monitoring network activity and asset activity in order to analyze your security posture and security related events. What we're not going to talk about is host based protection systems such as antivirus, anti malware, um, application whitelisting. Um, we may touch on that a little bit later, but the focus of this webcast is going to be on building a strong defensive perimeter within your control system. So first, a little bit about Nitro Security. Nitro Security was actually born from the Idaho National Labs. Our founding engineers, who are still with us to this day, originally worked with the INL um, for a project with the DOE to develop a database which could collect the sensory information from the nuclear power infrastructure and analyze that information extremely quickly. Now, over the course of 20 plus years and hundreds of man hours of research and development, that data management architecture has been refined, it's been tuned, and it's been enhanced. Mm -hmm. And it now um, consists of several patented methods that we use throughout our own security products um, in order to provide extremely fast performance, both in the collection of broad and diverse types of, uh, of information from your network and your assets, and also performance in terms of getting information back out from our system so that you can make actionable intelligence upon it quickly. Now, today we're talking about primarily the protection of control systems, but you can't think of control system security in isolation. Control systems are part of a larger enterprise. They should be closed to outside communications. So they should be a strong perimeter between what is your critical infrastructure, your control systems, and your secure enclaves, and the rest of the enterprise network that makes up the electric utility company. Um, likewise, there is a separation, a point of demarcation between the enterprise network and the internet. Now, while the internet is mostly unknown and is extremely unpredictable, your control systems are very predictable. Uh, every, the Specialized applications, protocols, and assets, everything within that control system is, for the most part, very static. The traffic patterns are well-defined, and um, if you don't already have an understanding of how that works, it's fairly simple to create baselines to work from. Now, in the middle, we have the enterprise. Now, the FBI actually calls the enterprise contested ground, because threats are going to occur either from the enterprise itself, from an insider, or through the enterprise from an outside attacker from the internet who first uses that enterprise network, compromises, compromises the system there as a stepping stone into your control system. 